on YouTube. Right, today I'm going to do an update on this uh, patio pond bill, what I did. I did this about 11 months ago and I promised to do some uh, updates which I never got round to. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to put a link below to how I built this and I'm going to do like an update of the uh, plants, how we planted it and uh, you know, the, uh, the fish and what's what so about. I'll put uh, a few photographs link them together and add them so you can see. Well, I hope you got a rough idea of how we built this with, with those pictures. As like I just said earlier, I'm going to try to put the link below to, to the other video. But if I can't, I'm not very good at messing about with these uh, computers and videos. So if I can't do it, just scroll down. It's about 11 months ago, patio pond build. Anyway, so let's have a closer look at this. We've got, uh, I've got six marginal plants in here in, with these baskets. And uh, two water lilies. So there's uh, two marginals over that side. Another two marginals here. And across that side. Another two marginals. Water lily over that end. That's a white lily. And this one's actually got a flower on it. But like I said, this has only been... Uh, yeah, this has only been running 11 months. You know, and a lot of that was through the winter time, so it's, they're only just coming, uh, coming nice. And there's some of the fish. Yeah, so I'll uh, like this tub was a square tub, so I'll show you, I'll show you how I uh, got the marginals in. What I use is uh, some building blocks and patio slabs. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you a quick, I'll show you. Yeah, I've found uh, two building blocks with a slab on top. We'll just bring the, the marginal plants just to the right level to, uh, to, you know, so the crown is near the surface of the water. So I'll uh, just go over and show you the, the blocks what I've been using. So this is what, this, this is what I've been using. Just two, two building blocks are 18 inches long, 9 inches tall. One, one uh, either side. I've just got a round uh, basket here, planting basket. Obviously, you line the basket with the hessian, put your planting media in there, and you plant. And it's just the right height. In the in the uh, pond, I use a square basket, so I can get two two square baskets on there nicely. Also, it's a nice hiding place for the fish to go. They can go in there. Nice little hiding place for them. Yeah, the plan with this tub. Or patio pond is to uh, try to keep the water in uh, a1 condition without using the filter so I haven't got a filter on this there's about six to eight goldfish so I just got to get the balance the balance right when I first filled filled it up for the first few months of summer it, it, it went really 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 green but now these plants have started to grow Oh look at that one's got some nice nice blue flowers on there. Although that don't ask me what sort of plant it is. I just go to the uh, aquatic garden centre and buy the ones what I uh, what look okay. Well that one ain't doing too well, so that I'll probably uh, get rid of that one and replace it with something else. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to keep the water in good condition naturally by just using plants. I mean, you can't see because of the glare, but this water is absolutely gin clear. Maybe I should have done it at, when the sun's at, uh, not on the water. There, there's the fish. Yeah, saying that about uh, the water going green, just because you've got green murky water does not mean it's bad water. And vice versa, if you've got gin 
gin clear water doesn't mean your water's good. I, I dare bet the water in this patio uh, pond is, in, is better than the, the water in my aquariums. I bet it's got less nitrates with all these plants. But what I do ha have, because I've bought it as a, a Father's Day gift, I do have an oxygenating pump worked off this little solar panel. So they're, they're, not, they're not expensive. I don't think it was very expensive at all, but it just adds a little bit of extra oxygen into your, uh, into your pond. Yeah, it seems to be getting better month by month. I expect next year it'll be a lot, lot better than what it is this year. The plants are getting more and more and more established, and it, I would, maybe next year I might end up uh, hacking them up and chopping them down a bit. So uh, we'll just have a look at my other little tub. So th this was built after I first of all got this one. This is just a 50 gallon, 50 gallon plastic barrel, meant to look like a wooden barrel. And all I've got in there is a water lily and oxygenating plants. And this one's uh, started to clear. There's three little goldfish in here. There they are, look. I'm gonna chuck some food in. And we've got, we've got a water lily in here. That's not showing up very well, but this is actually uh, little water. That's a yellow one. I've got a yellow one, a white one, and a red one. And this one's got a lovely variegated leaf with green, uh, like the green and the red on it. When they come up, the green and red, and as they mature, they slowly uh, go full green. There we go. I'll just chuck a few little pellets in there for the goldfish. There they come, like. Well, it's, the, it's not filming too well because of the, uh, the the way the lighting is, but they're eating that lovely. So we've got one water lily out there, we've got another one peeping up there. So this is how it, it started. I just got this barrel, basically, to grow water lilies, and then one thing led to another. So then we ended up uh, getting a big, bigger tub and building this patio pond. Right, one last uh, sprinkling and a pellet. There they go, look. See if we can get a closer look at them. Like I say, it's difficult with the sun glaring on the surface of the water, but you can see right to the bottom, it's absolutely crystal clear. We've got a lot of uh, algae, blanket weed algae, but this is still, uh, what do you call it, in progress. Each year it'll get better and better and better. We'll end up pruning the plants back and picking the best plants and probably swapping a few out. Right, I'll put a bit of food in this one now. The glare is terrible. I think I've picked the wrong time of day to try to try to video this but anyway you get the gist of it don't you there they all are eating the pellets so anyway i think that's uh, about said enough about this so we'll just stand back and take a look just a nice little feature to sit there in the evening with your uh, your beer or your wine or whatever you takes your fancy so until next time happy fish keeping to you all